first of the four stanzas of the National Anthem is composed of two questions. In the first question, Key observes that it is early morning after the battle and asks if the flag is visible. With great pride, Key then reports that during last night's battle, he saw the flag from behind the walls or ramparts of Fort McHenry, illuminated by the burning rocket trails and explosions and bomb blasts, and that it continued to wave in the wind. To Key, the very fact that the British fleet kept up its attack and that he could see the flag still flying meant that the American soldiers at the fort had not surrendered or been defeated. The second question is self-explanatory. Key, eight miles away on a truce ship, cannot see the flag and ponders if the fort has fallen. The next stanza provides the reasons why Key was questioning whether or not Fort McHenry had succumbed to the British bombardment. Oh, say can you see at the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red Bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave O'er the land History records that the weather was drizzly and misty the morning after the battle. Indeed, the weather was worse during the battle as it was storming with heavy winds and rain. Considering the adverse weather and understanding that the cannons, rockets, 1800 were fired, mortars and bombs were all black powder based, and that they make a lot of thick black smoke, it was a wonder Key was able to see much at all. As an observer, he was lucky that the rain and high winds thinned the heavy smoke from time to time so he could see the fort when explosion blasts illuminated it in the darkness. Remember too that the bombardment was continuous and lasted for 25 hours. There were constant explosions. When it ceased at 7.30 a.m., there was a deafening silence. Accordingly, Key first tells us in stanza two that the bombardment ended, all fell silent, and that his vision of Fort McHenry was obscured, causing him to fear the worst. Key then says that the wind thinned the obscurity and that the sun began to rise and the fort's flag was there, proudly flying, proudly displaying the courage of the fort's defenders. On the shore down the sea Through the mists of the deep Where the fog Haughty host in dread silence reposes. What is that which the breeze or the towering steep as it fitfully blows, half conceals, half discloses? Now it catches. 